In this video, we're going to use PHP for a Momo collection transaction. Request to pay and check the transfer status using the get request to pay endpoints. If you haven't watched it yet, search for a video on the same channel on the setup of your local host server so as to avoid the PHP SSL error when using the post and get methods to an external API. And that is because uh, you'll have an error that is showing that PHP CURL with SSL server errors because it cannot identify the SSL certificate for the security protocol. To make a request from the servers, we shall use Gazo HTTP handler for PHP requests. Setting up WAMP server for API requests using Gazo HTTP handler. Now, configuring the local host for HTTP requests may be quite hectic. However, uh, there are developers who are well conversant with PHP CURL that ships with PHP installations. The Gazo HTTP reduces the lines of code when making a request. Visit the Gazo website or simply search for Gazo in your browser and then from the Gazo results, from the search results, find a URL to the Gazo website. Read the overview so that you can set up the PHP version and CURL handler optional on your local host server as guided by the Gazo documentation. As you can see in this documentation, we are using PHP 7.2.5 yet in our server and the PHP we are using for our Laravel projects. Uh, we are using 8.1.13. We could also be having 8.2.0 at this moment. So I don't know which PHP handler you'll be using at the moment of um, you watching this video, but take note of that. So first we are going to create a simple project folder, make a simple API request. So we identify the errors and the logs from the PHP. Thereafter, we fix those errors as we code. After that fix, you will be able to do big projects from big APIs. Uh, big external APIs. So to use Gazo HTTP, you're going to install Composer from Composer.org. Uh, Composer is like uh, is for packet management, just like they have npm, they have yarn. Okay, so you're going to install Composer from Composer.org, then create a folder. Open the terminal in your project folder and then follow the instructions from the, uh, from the Gazo PHP.org to install Gazo into your project folder. Create a collections request.php file in the project folder, just like I'm doing here. In the terminal, paste this. Uh, okay, this code from Composer. So ensure you install the correct Gazo version uh, respective of the PHP version. You may also not include the version and Gazo will automatically install that for you. So in the collections request.php that we've created, you paste this code as I'm showing it to you in this video. Uh, it is direct from the Gazo documentation. Of course, this is a basic code without headers yet. First, we are going to test the basic API to ensure we, uh, we set up Gazo properly for our project. So note that this public URL can always change, but there are very many free test API environments. So under Google, search for an online test API, and let's choose typeycode.com. Choose my JSON server, press the try server button, Click on the post's URL. A URL and the expected JSON response will be loaded. We need to require a vendor from the Gazo package. Then use 
Gazo HTTP client, as you can see in this video. So you're going to create a new function object, then request the endpoint. So the function object will, will carry on the client. Okay. So the URL through the object that we've created, then get the response and the status. So the response is coming from our request. The result should be as loaded response uh, from the type code example that you got. However, you can get a fatal error talking about the ex exception CURL error 60 SSL certificate problem unable to get the local issuer of the certificate. Here, meaning that the server is responding, but you're getting uh, an SSL error. So in case you get such uh, an error about the SSL certificate, you can download the latest CA certificates bundle from the CURL website as shared here on the screen and save it to a file on your local system. Open your php.ini file and add the following line of code. So you're going to open your php.ini file and add the following line of code at the end. So you're going to add the curl.ca info and the path to the ca info that we created. And uh, I copied it to my local host, www. Okay. Then you restart the server and the browser. If the error persists, you are not using a proxy server. Then you need to modify the client object instance in your Gazo code. So we're going to modify that. And then after you can refresh, it should work as you can see. Now that the test is successful on a simple API, you can test with the collections endpoints. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Those of you who are doing Axios or doing uh, Node.js or any JavaScript library and you're using Axios, Watch out or you can look for another video here of Axios. La, it means it carries those who are using um, um, native script, React Native, Vue Native, among others. Let's meet in another video. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share.